I think we have a Muslim trying to contact us. Hello? Hello? Yes. How is it Christian Prince? Yes, we are live on air in YouTube. Everybody hear you. What do you want to say to me, my friend? Okay, I, I was listening to all these. Um, just checking your references you're giving against my Quran. Hmm. Either you are a filthy fat liar or all the imams since I was a child hmm. have been lying to me. Because okay. Islam, I was taught hmm. Surah Baqarah at 2, uh, 5, 6 it says, like Rafiddin, there is no compulsion in, in religion. Okay. And then another surah, for instance, says, um, Surah Kafirun at 6 means your religion is yours, mine is mine. Hmm. And it's meant to be a peaceful religion, but you are just throwing too many things. I can't even, you know, search for her. Okay. Where, where do you get these things let us, from? Let us, it's in my head, my friend. I'm a walking library. Let us go one by one. You said Islam means peace, correct? Yes. All right. Well, isn't it the Quran in chapter 9, verse number 29, order the Muslims to fight and to kill all the Christians, either they pay the jizya, and they no. convert or they die if it's in the time of war i wouldn't uh, worry about hold it on, my friend but my friend hold it's on. not uh, okay and yes that, in the time of war but the christian did not wage war on you it's you waging war read with me carefully this is your quran and i can open okay. for you any translation you wish which translation you like most it doesn't really matter as, as far as it's translated. Okay, Muhammad Yusuf Ali, I'm Muslim. I'm not going to use any translation. But the, because the, the problem is, you're, you're, you're sharing another translation. They all contradict each, each other. I don't know who to listen to. Okay, that's why I'm asking you which translation you like. Uh, go to Al Jalalain. Al Jalalain is Al -Jalalain more is authentic. Translation. Uh, Al Jalalain is tafsir. Al Jalalain is yeah, Tafsir. Go okay. to tafsir oh, Jalalain. All right. So we will go to Al Tafsir Al Jalalain. Or to be of Ibn Kathir. Or no or problem. No problem. Let us go to okay. Ibn Kathir. You want Ibn Kathir? Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm, I'm here. Ibn, Ibn Kathir, please. Ibn Kathir. Okay. Ibn Kathir. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Give me a second. It's it's all right. Shocking. It's not. It's it can't be true. All right. We will see if it's true, my friend. And as you said, either I'm a filthy liar. Or they are faithy liars. <laughs> One of us have to be. All right. So this is Ibn Kathir. I will show it to you in the screen. And remember, okay. this is your choice, not my choice. You wanted the Jalalain. I said, okay, I will show you a Jalalain. You said Ibn Kathir. I will show you Jal whatever you want. This is Ibn Kathir. You see, it says Ibn Kathir. You see my screen? Mm -hmm. All right. <coughs> this is Ibn Kathir. And let me zoom out so you can see better and read better. Fight, fight those who okay, no, believe let's not see, in it. Let us go to verse number nine because this is many. Here he's explaining. Uh, etc. You, you speak Arabic, I'm assuming, do you? Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. And then we can even read in Arabic. But let us go in our English now. Uh, fight against those who believe not uh, in Allah, nor the last days, nor what is forbidden, which is forbidden by Allah and His Messenger, and those who acknowledge not the religion of the truth from the people of the scriptures. Okay, why he want to fight them? Because they don't acknowledge the following things. The last day of Islam, what is forbidden by Islam, and the message of Islam. Do I agree? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is the reason to kill them? Because they don't acknowledge. And I think the verses are clear. Now let's read Ibn Kathir. Until they pay the jizya with willing and submission and feel themselves subdued. And read carefully. Ibn Kathir now is making his commentary. Subdued. Sub Where does it say that? Here we go. This is what the Quran is saying. You say you speak Arabic, right? Say Sagarun, yes. Sagarun, Sagarun means subdued, humiliated. Sagarun. Okay, little, little. therefore, yeah. <laughs> therefore, this is Ibn Kathir talking now, not the Quran. Therefore, when people of the scriptures disbelieved in Muhammad and they had no beneficial faith in any messenger or what the messenger brought, rather they follow their own their religion because this is uh, 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 confront with their ideas lost. And the ways of their uh, 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 forefather, not because they are Allah law religion. They had been true believers in their religion. That faith would be have directed uh, them to believe in Muhammad, 
So because they are not to believe in Muhammad, obviously they are liars, all right? And then he says, because all the people gave the good news to Muhammad, etc., blah, 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 they believe in Muhammad, and look here what he said. That's harsh. Their religion, these religions, huh? came from Allah, but because this is sweet, their desire and lust. Therefore, their claimed faith is earlier, uh, an earlier prophet will not benefit them because they disbelieved in the master and uh, 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 the most of the last and the most the perfect of the prophet. Hence, Allah's statement. So because they did not believe in Muhammad, it's not because they are fighting Muhammad. I think the, the proof is clear, correct? Because mm -hmm. of that, look what it says. Fight against those who believe not in Allah, nor the lost, etc., to the end of the verse. And then it says, this honorable ayah was revealed with the order to fight the people of the book. After the pagan were defeated, so Muhammad now he killed all the enemy who's left. He killed the Jews. He killed the you know he killed the the, the Arab. Now it's time to finish those Christians and Jews. So uh, the people enter into Allah religion in large numbers. So Muhammad now have a big army because people are scared, terrified, and the Arabian Peninsula was secure under Muslim control. Allah commanded His Messenger to fight the people of the Scriptures, Jews and the Christians, on the ninth year, ninth years of the Hijrah. He prepared an army to fight the Roman. <laughs> it's not the Roman who fighted him. He sent a letter to the Roman saying, convert or die. Now, uh, you say to me... What battle you specifically referring to? What? Which battle? It doesn't matter. He decided this is Tabuk, supposedly. Muhammad, he went to Tabuk, but he could not make it because uh, uh, he could not get in, you know. Uh, um, like uh, he was hoping to be able to attack but looked like they were ready for him so he was not able to attack and he came back after waiting for for uh, for some time in Tabuk but then as you see here you said to me Islam teaching you that uh, you have your religion I have mine there's no conclusion in religion blah so this is in the beginning you see is what you know you speak Arabic and you should know better that in Islam there is something is called abrogation yeah when, when yes. Muhammad he was weak he said, okay, you have your religion. I have my religion because he cannot force them. But, but as you see here, but and I, I, a verse could be easily abrogated by uh, its um, divine, uh, which is Allah. No problem. No problem. But there's no so, problem with that. Okay, but no you, problem, keep, but, you keep, but, you keep but insulting you Islam by me? saying it's why, a cult. Hold on. It's why why cult? you are quoting for let me? Let me translate a cult for you. My let friend, let my friend. me tell you just, what just cult wait, is, just my friend. Wait, wait. Why you are quoting for me a verse which is abrogated? It's not valid. Because Al Kafirun, okay, Al Kafirun, and the other verse is not valid. It's abrogated by the chapter of Tawbah. Cult is a system. Cult is a system which is directly, personally directed towards somebody, towards someone, a personal figure. Yes. Okay. Mm. So if you if you give me a verse, mm. okay, any verse, mm. been abrogated by um, Allah, it's no problem. But you can never find a verse been abrogated by Muhammad himself oh no you are wrong I can find you tons no you cannot find me a single okay. one you're okay. just making it up just throwing throwing too many things people cannot pick okay. it up okay okay let us finish this one and I promise you I will go right away and I will show you the verses which Muhammad abrogated but let us agree that what you said about peace is, is it was not I'm, I'm not going to say you are lying I will say it was not true read carefully here it says the Messenger of Allah marched heading toward a sham to fight the Roman and to reach the book uh, where he set a camp, etc., for etc., so he could not, you know, he could not do it. He came back, and the condition until they pay the jizya, if they do not choose to embrace Islam. So why we have to pay jizya? Because die or pay, and with willing submission in well, defeat. Everybody's paying jizya. What's what's wrong with that? No, no, you no, no, in America, no, 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 no. This is our land. How we pay land? Our uh, the, the American occupy Iraq. They will force them to pay jizya because the American occupy them to protect them from the American. That's what your prophet is saying. And look what he says. It says in the verse, and feel, feel themselves subdued, disgraced, humiliated, uh, uh, like etc. Therefore, the Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the Dhimma or elevate them above the Muslims. For they are miserable, disgraced, humiliated. Muslim reported that Abu Huraira, Allah the Prophet said, don't initiate salam. To the Jews and the Christians, 
And if you meet any of them in the road, force them to the narrowest alley, which means the sewage. This is why the leader of the faithful, Omar al Khattab, may Allah pleased with him, demand his will, no, his will known conditions to be met by the Christians. These conditions that ensured their continued humiliation, disgrace, etc. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. So you are saying to me that Islam says you have your religion, I have mine. Those people, they have no guilt except they are Christians. And now you want to humiliate them because they refuse Islam. This is their crime. That's not what I was taught. But I'm showing you the proof and you are the one who asked me to read the because here. Obviously, I'm working and living in a Christian country. Okay, my friend. And I'm dealing uh, and working with Christians and no Jews. Problem. They respect me so much. No problem. I'm not saying anything. I'm not I saying I'm not, my friend. Use this verse against them. My friend, I'm not talking about you. This is not about you or me. You might be a wonderful person, but this is not about you and me. This is religion. So you said to me, read Ibn Kathir. I I quoted for you live on on air what you choose, correct? It was your choice. So obviously, Islam is not what some Muslims they think. You are a Muslim, but you've been taught that uh, the Prophet says you have my religion, you have yours. This one when he was weak, it's abrogated. Now we prove to you that the first thing you say to us about Islam, give a freedom of a choice. That is a big fat lie they told you. Even the Prophet of Islam, he says, I've been ordered to fight all mankind until they say there's no God but Allah and no Prophet but Muhammad. And if they do so, only if they do so. I will stop killing them and shedding their blood and here we go all those hadith are sahih and they are accurate you have you have not only not only you have to say the shahada you have to pray as we pray you have to fast as we fast you have to face the qibla you have to pay the zakat is it a hadith? And, then, and this did, is hadith. This, is sahih. this is sahih it doesn't matter hadith or not this is sahih yeah no, sahih did you say it's a hadith or, or Quran my friend this is hadith and sahih but it okay. is in total agreement with could the chapter you, 9 verse 29 no. could you show on the screen please I'm showing it on screen you don't see it it's not coming up okay well maybe you need to refresh your page let me refresh it one second I have been ordered to fight the people till they say none has the right to be worshipped but Allah and if they say so, pray like our prayers face our Qibla and slaughter as we slaughter. Then their blood and property will be sacred to us and we will not interfere with them except legally. And their reckoning will be with all. Hmm. So what does that mean? Uh, what's the Sahih number 392? Sahih al-Bukhari 392. Let me call, I go, I go .com. let me check. Sorry, I need to check. I don't trust anyone anymore. No Bukhari, right? Yeah. So that means, so this, if this is true, hmm. it abrogates. I have two, five, six Surah Baqara and Surah Kafirun. In the chapter at Tawbah, abrogate everything because Quran is more powerful, right? So the Quran and the Hadith here confirm that what you said to me in the beginning, it was not really accurate. And this is the truth. But tell me one thing. Is it anywhere in the Quran hmm. backing up the Hadith? We keep taking the Hadith for granted. No, I just I just showed you the Quran first and now I'll show you the Hadith. I did not show you the Hadith first and the Quran second. Does so the any hadith, ayat, any verse in the Quran saying you must listen to hadith. Oh yeah, there's tons of them, because the the show, Quran. Show okay, me one. Okay, hold on. The Quran says, whatever the prophet. If Quran you, doesn't back up the hadith, the hadith can no, go no, invalid. Yeah, no problem. Let me show you. I will show you tons of reference. Chapter fifty nine, verse number seven. Whatever no. the prophet he gave you, you take it. So, you take what the messenger assigned to you. Whatever he says to you, you take it. It is an order. <coughs> you see it? Yeah, yeah I Chapter see. Chapter 59, verse number 
seven let us see more there's many there's too many all right in the Quran says too that whoever uh, whoever uh, obey all uh, the messenger he obey Allah <laughs> All right. We will be carefully, please, and you will see chapter four, verse number eighty. He who obey the messenger obey Allah. He who obeys messenger. Correct. Let me check. I got Talal Itani Quran. Let me check how he is. It's obviously all against each other. You can't. You, you don't know who who to listen to. No, it's uh, it says confirming he, that you have to obey Muhammad first, because obeying Muhammad is obeying Allah. So which means Muhammad? That, that's is wrong. That's that's no no good. I don't I don't obey uh, a person rather than God. No, friends, not up to you. This is your Quran. You are a Muslim. You have to obey. And um, it's eighty, is it? Eighty. <laughs> What, uh, what yep. do you want my help? So, you uh, did we confirm this one? No, 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 I, I, I can't deny this. Okay, so if was Muhammad a god, he's a perfect god, he's a god, or he is he's a human like us? Uh, should he should have been a human? Okay, and do, because do he human, clearly saying, Abdu, Abdu Okay, do human do error and mistakes and commit sin? Was Muhammad of a sinner? Course. Was Muhammad a sinner? Yes, he okay. was. Okay, the Quran confirmed that too. Thank you. I make it easy for me. So now, how you can obey a sinner? And by obeying the sinner, me or you? No, or you Muhammad? can't obey. You can never obey a sinner. Okay, so it says here, he obey the messenger, obey Allah. To assume, I wouldn't. To assume that I, I can I obey. I don't Muhammad. allow my children to kiss my hand either. I don't like my friend, people. Not, you see, I'm talking about you or me. With my respect to you, I'm talking about. This is what the Quran is saying. In order to obey Allah, you obey Muhammad first. And this is not my translation. And you speak Arabic. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so it's clear. So you have to obey Muhammad. Now, you said to me, when we were talking about Ibn Kathir and killing Christians, you said to me, there's no single verse in the Quran was abrogated by Muhammad, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what about the muta? Muta. Uh, um, well, I've, I've read this briefing about muta. Muta was allowed in Quran. Okay, chapter four. And the same Muhammad chapter, allowed it too. The same chapter muta. we are pra uh, reading from, chapter four, verse number twenty-four. Okay. And do you practice muta today? No. Why? Because my wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> this is not the question. This is not because of. No, God. I don't. I don't believe Muta is 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 not. Uh, no, it's filthy. It's like okay, to so me, what? Muta so, sounds like a prostitution okay. business. Okay, thank you. I respect your your honesty. You agree that this is a prostitution. So why Allah allowed the Muta? Yeah, because, because Muta is uj ujra. It's for uh, you pay money for it. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Muta, it's not a free service. It's it's you exactly. pay somebody to have sex. This exactly. is what Muta means. Exactly. Actually, even those Tamaskaras agree that this is about renting a woman mustajara. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So why Allah He allow you? You just said it's prostitution. Why? Uh, Allah he allow you to rent women uh, all all I'm all I have been trying to do all these years in my life um, asking these verses but I just you know convincing myself they're probably a different time of life mm. okay but let us go back different needs, no problem but but no as you see why did Musa allow people to do muta before Muhammad Muhammad uh, Musa is a lot older did Jesus allow muta? No, I mean that's not a, that's not a reason. I mean, if if we want to find reason, we can find reason for anything. Like you might say to a man who was a rapist, "Why you rape this woman? Oh, she was wearing a short skirt." <laughs> but that would not change the fact that you are a rapist, correct? If you ask no, him, he wanna he, he's a thief. Why you stole? Oh, uh, this guy he have a lot of money, but still you are a thief. You know this is not excuse. Look what it says right. here. This is your Muslim website and those audio scholars. 
saying that Muslim women, when she have the contract of muta, in some works, a special terms applied. Women who practice muta, musta ajara, or rented women, muta is considered as a kind of rental, because in general, a man basic aim of this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of the women. And in the return of his enjoyment of the women, he pay money, as you say. All right. So you agree, the scholars of the Muslim agree that this is a rental. Now, was the muta abrogated by Allah? Yes. Where? Should have been. Because the Sunni is not doing it anymore. Only no the problem. Shia. No problem. Um, okay, but I'm asking people, you. People you stop me, doing it. Shia is doing it in Yemen friend, and Iran. You remember, my friend, you said to me, show me where Muhammad, he abrogated the muta. This is in the Hadith. You said to me, mm -hmm. show me where the Hadith abrogate the Quran. The Hadith abrogate the Quran. Here we go. We go to the Hadith. If if this is correct, mm. it it goes into a form of cult because a personal cult, not even a cult, a personal, very very personal cult, because a man cannot bypass a God's order. All right. Simple as that. Well, you see, when you called me in the beginning, you said, "Why you?" But show me the Islam. Hadith. Please. Okay, no problem. When you when you uh, when you call me in the beginning, you said to me, "Why you keep insulting Islam, saying that Islam?" Uh, let me find uh, some hadith. Okay. Yeah, we need to to prove it, not just uh, I never, saying I never, cult. You know, you are watching for long, I think already, and you, you noticed that I never said something without proof, and I'm doing the same with you, the same as I do with everybody. So nothing. It's nothing uh, new. All right, let's see. Uh, it's uh, let us uh, find one of the hadith. There's tons of them, but we will find the most authentic ones. Sahih Muslim or Sahih Bukhari, whatever you wish. Uh, let us go with this one. Right in the top. Sahih Muslim hadith number one four zero six. You see it? The page. Mm -hmm. All right. The Messenger of Allah said, O oh people, I had permitted you to contract muta with women, but Allah forbid it now until the day of resurrection. <laughs> Where he forbid it? There's no Quran. Muhammad is uh, uh, Muhammad is Allah. Remember this verse. Muhammad is Allah. Abrogate muta. There's no verse abrogate uh, muta. This is hadith. Only yes, hadith. yes. I, I have my friend. Two years ago, I have confronted an imam, a very, very big imam in London. Okay, mm -hmm. and he, he gave Surah Nur ayat thirty-three. He said that um, that action, that mut'a, um, was abrogated in the Quran. Where? Before Muhammad. Where? Surah Nur, Surah Al Nur, ayat thirty-three. Okay, and Nur, we will go to An Nur. All right, here we go, twenty-four, thirty-three. Yes, okay. he, he told me a story about uh, yeah, that's Abdullah false. Saluli. That's, that's, uh, that's false, my friend. There's nothing here have to do with the muta. This is about wearing, covering their clothes. What does have to do with the muta? That's false. And you will not find anyone even agree with this. Surah Al Nur, ayat 33. 33. Okay, 33. All right, yes. sorry. Okay. So, how this is ab abrogating the muta? Actually, this verse alone should make you leave Islam. This verse legalizes prostitution. No. Yeah, we'll read with me. One second. Read with me carefully. It says, But force not your slaves for prostitution when they yeah, desire chastity in order that you make a gain in the goods which may make money of this life. But if yeah. any of you compels them, yet after that, Allah is all merciful and forgiving. So, uh, what the Quran is saying, and I think you speak Arabic, you it's, speak English, so it's very clear it's, that um, if they agree with you, if they agree with you, you can do prostitution. Force them not. Force them not to do prostitution. He did not say prostitution is forbidden. Force them not. Huh? 
لا تكره فتياتكم على البغاء إن أردنا تحصنا force them not okay so if they agree it's okay and if you force them Allah is all merciful anyway <laughs> and we're here we're in this verse is saying that you know a muta is uh, is uh, is abrogated by this verse there's nobody there's no Muslim in the world believe in this <laughs> If Allah is Ghafur Rahim for who? For it the... doesn't matter. There's no penalty, there's no punishment, and, and prostitution is allowed. Another example. Another example. Allah he sent down ten verses for breastfeeding. You yeah. mean uh, bre breastfeeding like for men. Kids. For men. No, for men. Would you breastfeeding for what? For men. Allah he allowed men. Muslim women to give their breast to a strange man to suckle them ten times. What in the Quran? My friend, this is in the Quran, yeah. This is was in the Quran, but it's not in the Quran no more. And the wife of Muhammad, she used to order uh any women, anyone, any man who wanna enter upon Aisha to suckle the nieces or the sisters of Aisha. Read with me carefully. Yahya yeah, related to me from Malik, from etc., from 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 Ram, that Aisha, the mother of the believer, sent him away while he was being nursed to her sister, Umm Kathum, bin to Abi Bakr, a Saddi, and he said, Sucker him ten times so that can come to see me. <laughs> okay, I want to ask you, where is this chapter? Where is this verse in the Quran now? No, you can't see anything in like, like that in the Quran. Okay, where it is? I don't know. You tell me. I will tell you. No problem. If it's nowhere, if it's not in the Quran, it doesn't exist. No, it exists. But what happened? A god did eat it. So we can say in this case, it's not really Muhammad who abrogated this. It was the goat. Read with me carefully. The verse of stoning to death and breast stoning and breastfeeding for adult ten times was revealed, and the paper was with me under my pillow. When the Messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death, and a tame sheep came and ate it. Down there it says, these verses were abrogated in recitation, but not in ruling. <laughs> How you can abrogate something in recitation? I mean, this is funny. <laughs> this is shocking, not funny. For me, it's funny. It's stupid, too. Stone and breastfeeding, not just one. Yeah, but this meant to be memorized. Okay, no, it's not. That was the time no, when the Quran was the not Quran, written. My friend, all the Quran at that time was memorized anyway. So when you say meant to be, did Allah says to you which one you memorize, which one you write down? No, He gave you Quran, and then later uh, uh, Uthman he decide what to write down. And as you see, even the God ate what is written. It was not meant to be memorized. It's written, and it was under the pillow. Of Aisha, which is the pillar of Muhammad, so it's meant to be written. This is why the goat ate it. Otherwise, if it's only memorized, well, the goat will not be able to eat something memorized. Don't know what to say to be honest. Um, I'm gonna have to go to the mosque tomorrow evening and in front of everybody confronting these imams because they okay, each translation contradicts the other. They are, I, I don't understand why should I lie about my God if if you can challenge my God I don't need this God if a Christian prince an Arab from nowhere could challenge my God I don't need this God okay well, my God my writing my God's book the Quran should challenge billions of Christian prince well, but he cannot why these people lie about it I don't understand like you know, remember when you called me, you said to me, you are lying about Islam? No, I didn't say that. I said, you either a fat liar, as you, uh, you keep repeating yourself, yeah, or... But you are assuming that I'm uh, lying, obviously, right? You were assuming I have, or not. I've been in Islam since the age of five, since I literally remember. Hmm. And about 40 years of my life, I've been praying to Allah, okay? And you... I. As I thought, believe me, my, my hand is shaking. It's it's very hard to talk about this, to question this book. It's been so holy to me. You know, it's like somebody's skinning me alive. 
very hard. Well, I understand, my friend. But as you see, we are not lying to you, and I'm showing you everything right in the front of your eyes. No, no. Obviously, I'm I'm writing all these references, and we will we'll confront these uh, mullahs because they are blind to people. He told me that at thirty-three, Surah An Nur abrogated that muta. But it was well. Obviously, it was my fault. I didn't. Secondly, thoroughly, uh, secondly chase you that. said that al muta is prostitution. What kind of God he allow prostitution? Well, not I, is is more than prostitution. Yeah. So what the point no. of allowing prostitution? I mean, a man he wanna have sex, go and get married. But, uh, no, no, but I was not for money. Prostitution these days is for money. Some some prostitutes um, but, uh, take for money. And cards. you are the one who said that. You said but to me. Prostitute but, uh, at the time was for a kilo of grain or rice. It's the same, same. Uh, if you, if if that you, was true. My friend, oh. as, it's the same. If you give somebody a return for sleeping with you, that is prostitution. You know, it can uh, be from God. Product, this, this product and uh, re reward can be changed. Like maybe in today, you can send the pay by credit card. But that will not change the fact that it's money, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. If a woman she sleep with you because you, you, for, if a woman money for sex sleep, is very bad. It's if a woman good. she sleep with you because you bought her uh, a gift, whatever, this is um, uh, this is prostitution. You know, it's it's product. It's a uh, it, obviously it says I showed you even the Islamic reference saying that this is a uh, uh, renting a woman, renting a woman, uh, for the exchange of sexual pleasure. That's why it's called muta. Muta means uh, pleasure, correct? But how could um, let's say let let's uh, I admit this one? Um, how could Muhammad know about all these facts about the universe? Like what? And this I had thirty in Surah and Biya. He he talks about the Big Bang, how the Earth was um, okay um, created. I think it's Surah and Biya no, at thirty. Know you don't need to tell me. Don't worry about it. This is why I'm a Christian prince, my friend. Okay. If we go to the verse, it's chapter two. We will find the following chapter 21, verse number 30. <coughs> right away, you will see in the beginning that there is something silly and stupid in the verse. Read with me the first line, please. Can you read it for me? Yeah. Okay. What it says. Do not the unbelievers see? Hmm. That the Could Arabic you turn to the Arabic one, please? No problem. Here we go. This is the Arabic. Did you notice with me what is a stupid mistake there? You are the one saying yes. to me. Yes, it's a mistake. Yara, it can't be Yara because right. you can't Thank see you what happened back there. You are a smart person. Thank you. Here we go. Guys, ago. how how this is a scientific discovery, and he is saying. Don't they see? Yara. Okay. Yeah. So what he's talking about? They are talking about that the Arab at that time uh, believe uh, uh, that Allah He raised the sky up. It was together, and He raised them up. Where is the Big Bang? It says that the Earth and the sky were joined together, which means there was Earth and there was a sky. This is not what the Big Bang saying. I don't believe in the Big Bang, by the way. But I'm going with you. So if there is Earth. There is a sky, or what we did, we split them. But this is this is not true. But and big Big Bang is not the fact. Big Bang is the most is a theory. Um, it is a theory. Most well, no, it is a theory. Plausible the theory, you can say. Uh, well, yes. it, it's uh, this is up to you. But anyway, the Quran did not only hear him make a mistake. Secondly, if you read uh, the 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 chapter you chose, it says, and we had set. On the earth mountain standing firm so it should not shake on them the fact is the mountains are not set on the top of the earth the mountains are coming down from the deep earth when the tectonic plates they meet each other the mountain is a product of, of volcanoes volcanoes or tectonic plate like when, when there's tectonic layers yeah. okay so but here yeah. here is saying the opposite all the lovers allah he placed the mountains in the top of the earth so it's not going to shake on us so the quran is described it 31? Earth, huh? 31 did you say 30 or 31 we are reading second, both sorry. 30 and 31 so the first one is wrong secondly and we will explain to you how he claimed that the, the first one how it worked so now he Allah he left up huh? 
the sky and later we'll show you in different verse he made it a roof and here he's saying that Allah he placed the mountains in the top of the earth do you believe in this is that accurate or this is false Mm, scientifically, this is uh, doesn't make sense to me. Okay, but you are the one who chose this chapter for me, but, not me. But I didn't say thirty-one. I said thirty. No problem. So thirty and say, thirty-one. They compete no each other. If this is a we mistake, have set on on the earth, yeah. mountains standing firm. Mm. And the purpose? What? They will not shake on us. Japan is a country have between an average of eight hundred <laughs> to two thousand earthquake a day and it's all of it is mountains actually the reason they have mountains is because there's earthquakes and volcanoes and etc so here Muhammad he explores his his fabrication now read with me carefully and we made the heavens as a canopy well guarded is that the atmosphere no I'm, I'm, I'm shocked now well, is, is that that because I heard Muslim saying that this is the atmosphere yes they are right because the translation they get, I'm afraid, in in other languages like yeah, English. Okay. So does it sound, does it sound like this is the atmosphere? No. What the Quran is speaking of, that Shaitan he try to spy at Allah, and Allah will shoot the Shaitan by a star. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Do you really believe in this? That the stars. Mm -hmm. Are made to shoot Shaitan in his ass if he try to spy, and we have guarded it. What is the heaven? Allah claiming that only the lowest heaven have stars, and this is where some Muslims they lie and they say that this is speaking about the atmosphere. But if this is the atmosphere, it's mean only in the atmosphere we have stars. So we have created the uh, the, the stars, and we made them only in the in, in the lowest heaven, as to beautify the uh, for the beholder and the top of that and we have guarded it which mean what the near heaven with from every outcast shaitan okay how he cast how, how he cast shaitan out except him the devil that gain hearing by stealing he is pursued by a clear flaming fire do you believe in this mm. How Allah shoot Shaitan, Muhammad he captured the Shaitan, he tied him in, up in the column of the of the mosque. So such a small uh, tiny creature, Allah he will shoot a star to do what? So where do you where do you get this translation from? Who cares? You speak Arabic, uh, you can change translation. Chapter 15, verse number 18, 17, 16. You can read in Arabic. Illa man even the, well, even the English know. ones have different. Everyone translated it because they lie. Because simply many of them, what they do. Yeah, that's that's them. what what may, makes me very angry about it. Yeah, they they lie in order to make you like deceiving people. I cover. feel sorry for those um, innocent Muslim coming here and swearing at people. Hmm. But the but remember, their book remember, has been remember, you said to accepted. me either you are a big fat liar, so you were not far away from them just uh, fifteen minutes ago. You thought I am a fat liar. You yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? Is that from God or this is stupid? And then here he says, and the earth was spread out. Well Ardu Madadnaha. Is the earth spread out no. like a carpet? I don't know what is your education. What is the where is the your stance? Where is the, uh, what? this is my field? This is your field. That's I wonderful. Studied geoscience. Okay, yes. Geos that's wonderful. Okay, where is the where is the hail is coming from? Because uh, listen, um, the beginning elements were hydrogen. Okay, hmm. so Surat Anbiya. I'm I'm thinking of if if God meant he separated Earth from the skies. Hmm. If he meant the Big Bang, let's say, doesn't even make sense either. Because um, the Earth is is very very young compared to the beginning of the universe. Okay, because the the primary elements like hydrogen was at the beginning of the universe, but Earth is containing iron, which takes billions of years okay. to appear. Okay, 
so you can't stick a plastic to a gold they don't stick together they are different you see i am i am not uh, but i'm i'm try i will i will chase these verses um, okay. as long as long this is your, your this is your science and this is your study i want to ask you where is where is hail coming from hail hail yeah hail the, the hail hail is 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 a water okay water um, affected by the uh, arctic wind very cold arctic wind and they became hail that's that's, okay. that's how it's made so you don't think it's coming from mountains and allah he break hail from those mountains mountains yeah what do you mean mountains mountains like in the sky there's mountains and allah he break with the hammer hail and he throw it at us well is it in the quran i'm just asking you now before we talk about from where do you believe no I don't, I, even if if I, if I say that myself i wouldn't believe it i wouldn't take it for granted okay but if we find it hail is coming from the sky it's the vaporization of of our oceans okay right. in a dense cloud they they become hail snow or rain all right so if i find it for you from the quran are you willing to leave islam um i can't decide now because i need to lots of things to chase it doesn't matter but, if, uh, if this one is a lie i mean the rest is a lie i mean you just say this is impossible this no, is i'm true. not i'm not um, i'm not hypocritic um I, I i don't deny any mistakes if i do a mistake i but put if, my hands if up the quran, if my if father the quran, do mistake the quran then... is unvaried no more islam is gone Chapter twenty-four. You are the one. If who this, me. The, if these are true, my friend. Yes, look, I, I you will denounce listen. Islam. All right, that's wonderful, guys. He said he promised he would denounce Islam. The same chapter. You are the one who asked me to go to the chapter of Nur before chapter twenty-four, verse number forty-three. You can read in Arabic. You can read in English. In any war, any language you want. In English, they try to fabricate and to change the meaning, but I will show it to you in Arabic. And as long as you speak Arabic, me and you, we will get better understanding. It says mm -hmm. here, Does it say that or I'm lying? Yes, it's very clear. All right. You promised you will denounce Islam. Hail is coming from mountains in heaven. I mean, even cartoon, they don't do that. And look here in the first translation. I want you to confirm this with me. I believe somebody mixed uh, somebody mixed these things into Quran when they uh, my written. Friend, my friend, there's, there's nothing called the book. Either this it's is from God. Either this is so. This is not a book of God. And look what, here. As long as you speak Arabic, why the Muslims they lie and they say like mountains? Does it say like mountains in the Arabic? No, the, the, anything between these two brackets uh, don't. So they just are trying. Don't, they are trying. They are trying to cover yeah. to cover up. So look, they send down from the sky. From mountains, from mountains, which is in heaven, hail. No, it doesn't make sense. So they fabricate the translation in order to cover the stupidity. Whoever wrote this book is is a foolish. I mean, you know, this is maybe work for no. people who don't. Whoever, 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 this bit, this part here, whoever written, didn't have a clue about anything in the sky but okay. what's going on in the sky assuming that the one who did this is allah allah have no clue what about this i don't believe i don't believe this is from a god look at no. this allah he created the three kind of creatures because one of the one of the um principles of being a god is do not afford any mistakes hmm. what makes me different from god is i am doing mistakes i do a lot of mistakes but god should be a little bit different from me no mistakes well, my friend, from the first page of the Quran to the last page, I can show you endless mistakes. I'm not showing you really mistakes. I'm I'm just showing you a chapter you, you choose yourself to prove to me Islam to be true. So Islam is the most silly cult. And now you understand why I am saying it's a cult. You said, you said, why I'm calling Islam as a cult. Now, you promise me if I show you this and this will be true, you will leave Islam, correct? Yes. Are you willing to keep your promise? Yes. So are you denouncing Islam? If, if this is all true, we heard Islam is a cult. So you agree Islam is a cult? Yes. Thank you very much. Because a go an order from God, okay, 
could never be bypassed by any man. That's wonderful. Never. I'm really happy for you. Because if if that happens, God loses its status as God. You can call it something else. Mm. Okay? If a president, if, for example, a Trump, if Trump makes an order, let's say Iranian is not allowed to enter the USA, and an officer, a police officer in the airport say, no, forget about Trump, I'm in charge here, he's going to go to prison, or Trump loses his status. So now, compare that to God, Almighty God, it doesn't make a sense, my friend. Absolutely. Hypocrisy uh, is not in my mind. I listen to reality, I listen to proof, evidence. But you know, you as a, as a person who, like today, after this but, moment, you are a Muslim, I can't call you a Muslim no more, but I want to ask you, when the Muslims they say there is science and the Quran and etc., uh, why they lie? Why they fabricate things? Tell me, I was going to ask you this question. Why this, they either make money because they there are loads of books um, in London. You got too many libraries, Islamic libraries. They sell in billions of dollars a year on books. They get in from probably the Arab countries. Um, for printing these books because the books are obviously very, very expensive. Yeah, they all laminated, nice colored, you know, and pictures. It, it, and you for reading, I think it, it, it and, costs fifty dollars each. And they insert, but they sell them for cheap. They insert articles about scientists or sometimes sometimes fake scientists and sometimes real scientists just to fool people, saying Quran match with science. No, you don't have to do that. No Muslims, if any Muslim is listening to me, if if anybody, any Muslim brothers or sisters trying to do that is fooling themselves because my God should be able to challenge somebody like me or Christian Prince. Who is this guy? Who is Christian Prince? How could he easily come and challenge my God with evidence? Is that what makes you angry? Because I was like a whole yes. Christian prince. <laughs> the, but what makes me angry is people fabricating to the facts. But yeah, I never fabricate. You see, this is why I go live and I say, people, you can call me and you can question and you overcome. I never, I never, uh, I never. Everything I say, I show in the screen. Everything, every single word. It's, it's my fault because. Um, um, I should have. I did, I did have a chance to chase the facts, but I just kept it, you know, under the blanket, as we say. So, my friend, I am a Christian, as you know, and I take the opportunity to invite you to accept the Messiah as your Savior. You left Islam. That's wonderful. For me, I'm not done to save you yet. I did the half of the job. And I would love to invite you to accept the Messiah what, as your Lord. What would you recommend me to read? Because I'm going to, again, like Islam, I'm not going to just take Islam like another religion like that. No. no I will read no, about it. No, absolutely not. Okay. No. You can and read. If, you can read. If my Christianity does make a sense to me, yes, I will call, call you back in a month's time, probably. All right. And we will have a chat. All right. If okay. not, I can still come back and. I, telling you about you know arguing Christianity as well because I don't I'm not scared to talk about Christianity if even if if I know 100% is from God no, neither we are we, this is why we are God <laughs> should challenge all all of us yeah you are welcome my friend anyway God's take, word take should be like a read, atomic bomb read the, nobody could read the, read, face the, it. The, read the four Gospels you know of, of, uh, of Christ 